Hello Fox, today we will learn how to create UI collection view using Swift 3. So let's start create new project with the single view application. We will name it as UI collection view tutorial languages chosen as Swift Press next select location we will create and now we are done with it so we have three classes one is app delegate view controller and main storyboard so first we will create an IV outlet for I for our UI collection view We will name it as dot collection view UI collection view. Okay, now open storyboard, find UI collection view, and drag it to our view controller. We'll give it a constraints zero zero now we have UI collection view drag to our view we will collect our outlet you can do it by pressing your alt key now here we will create our UI collection view class using new file cocoa class we will select UI collection view class you can choose that UI collection view cell class from drop down if it's not there name it as dummy cell we will choose also create XIV press next and the cell is created so we have this class dummy cell dot swift and dummy cell dot XIV in XIV we have our class okay you can create your UI here like UI level and place here we will and level horizontally and sent vertically centered to our, our cell okay in dummy cell dot we will create an outlet for our cell title UI level now we will connect our view title okay now coming back to our view controller dot swift it's time to add flow layout to collection view as collection view either scroll horizontally or vertically so we have to tell using flow layout that in which direction it will tell and what the item size and the spacing between the cells so let let flow layout equals to UI collection view flow layout dot init okay flow layout dot scroll direction is equal to dot vertical as we are getting a vertical collection view with two cells means two columns on each row now flow collection layout we have to set the item size dot item size is equal to cg size so we will choose width width we will give ui screen dot main dot bounds dot size dot width divided by two okay 
and height we will set 160 pixels okay now flow layout dot minimum inter item spacing it tells the minimum spacing to use between item in the same row suppose we have two cells in the one row then it tells the number of pixel to be spaced so we will give it 1.0 okay now flow layout dot minimum line spacing it tells that the pixel to be spaced between each row like one row two and say between first and second row how many pixels should be separated okay now we will add this flow layout to our collection view dot collection view flow layout equals to flow layout okay now this time our flow layout is created and it's attached to our collection view now it's time to since we are using our dummy cell or custom cell we have to register that dummy cell with our collection view register nib ui nib dot nib name bundle is nil and cell identifier is cell identifier it's a string now here we will pass our class name here since we are creating the class name and add cell xiv same so with or nib same so we pass here dummy cell in, in it with nib name and now it's time to tell the view controller that our collection view will implement its data source methods as they are required to the data source method tells that we uh, how we design our cell now we will go here we have two functions it's number of item in a section and number of uh, cell for item at index path okay now now we will implement our collection view data source we will show 10 rows sorry 5 rows means 10 items the number of items and here we will create our cell that cell equals to collection not copied correctly its function then we will copy it correctly and then paste it here okay cell cell equal to collection view dot dk result cell with identifier we will pass seven identifier as we give in our view did load and index path is index path of the row okay now in our cell dot lv l title what we created here we have to specify whether it's as dummy cell as swift is typed language so here we have lbi title dot text equals to row and text part dot row and we can give string Return 
cell. Now we are implemented our collection view here and it's data source. Now it's time to run the project. So it's building, you are seeing that it's compiling and it's running successfully on iPhone 7 simulator. Now it's taking time to start. It's running something else. I'll run it in iPhone 6s is I mostly use iPhone 6s. Now so here we have Now it's showing raw 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 because as you can see here that we have a minimum item spacing one but we are passing the size the main half of the main screen or phone screen size so so it's not doing math correctly so that's why it's displaying those rows like this so for this we have to do minus 0 0.5 Okay, because we have pass here in Triton's missing is 1 so we have to reduce our size web 0.5 so that it comes nice and like this now two rows are you you will give it cell dot background color equals to UI color dot yellow now when you run you will see the things like this you can see the minimum there is some white lines so it represents the small or if you want to differentiate more then if index path dot Row modulus two equals to zero. Then green. like this saying one yellow one green one yellow and green and it's your collection view oh that's it for today bye bye